Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to review the covered call strategy. So I think this is a strategy that a lot of newer traders gravitate to in the beginning because it, it because they're used to the concept of buying and selling stock. And this has a stock component to it. And it just adds on a, a an option piece to the to the buying a stock. So market assumption is you want to be uh, bullish. So you want the stock to go up. Uh, you want implied volatility to be relatively high. Optimal time frame, kind of that 30 to 60 days to expiration. Profit target, 25 to 50% of max. The downside risk is the stock could go to zero, just, a, just like if you owned a stock outright. And the upside risk is none because you're making money if it goes up. And then the probability of profit is 55% or greater. So the trade setup is simple. You're simply buying 100 shares of stock or one future, and then you're gonna sell one out of the money call around the 30 delta against that position. So the other thing that people use this for is, let's say that you have an IRA or you have a portfolio that's already made up of some individual stocks. Well, what you can come in and do is you can come in and sell these 30 delta calls against your stock positions that you already own and collect this premium and collect basically this income component to your already uh, owned stock portfolio. So that's that's what I see a lot of people do. Um, time decay on this one, theta works positively, so it works in your favor. So let's go to the platform and take a look at an example. So I'm gonna stick with XRT, which we've shown in a couple other of the bullish high IV examples, basically because at the time of this recording, it's one of the only symbols out there with high implied volatility over 50. Uh, IV percentile is currently at 54. The other reason I would look at this as a potential candidate is because we've seen a downside move in XRT. So I like to buy things when they've gone down and sell things when they've gone up, kind of a contrarian uh, methodology. And so XRT would be a, a good candidate for a covered call. So you're simply gonna go to the trade tab and go to the call side. And remember, we want kind of that 30, uh, around that 30 delta call. So right now we've got a 29 or we've got a 40. Again, I always like to opt for the higher one. You can do 29, it's actually a lot closer to 30, obviously. Uh, but I always just, as a practice, I like to go 30 or above. And so I would choose the 40. The difference is you're gonna give up a little bit of profit potential for a little bit higher probability of success. So I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean by that. So to, to enter the trade, you're simply gonna right click on that call that you want and you're gonna buy a co covered stock. So Thinkorswim calls it covered stock, covered call, same, same kind of trade. So covered stock populates it right here. And uh, then we can just right click and analyze that trade. That's going to populate it on our analyze tab. We can move our, our uh, uh, dotted line here to the break even point uh, to see what the probabilities are. And you, as you can see here, the probability of profit on this trade between now and expiration is a little over 58 and a half percent. Okay. So what, so, so that, why is that important? So what I want to compare this to is what if you simply just bought the stock? Okay. We, we've already shown this in another video, but, but let's take a look. So, if we simply buy the stock and analyze that, let's click off this one. So we're just looking at the stock. Look at what our look at what our probabilities of just buying the stock are. About 48, 51, about 50, 50. It's about a 50, 50 bet. And actually, I need to move that onto the break-even point. So about a 50, 50 bet, give or take a little bit one way or another. Okay. But by simply adding this call component, by putting this covered call on. We're limiting our upside, okay? So you are limiting your upside. However, now your probability of profit goes from 50% up to over 58 and a half, okay? So that's the value here. You're adding that theta component in there. You're adding that time decay component, which, which over time you're going to outperform just simply buying the stock, okay? So, so you got a, about a 58%, you've got the positive theta, you've got the positive time decay, and um, and so that's what that's what that's what the risk profile will look like. So what else does this look like? You know, one of the other strategies that we've already gone over it was a short naked put. 
the risk profile looks almost exactly the same, right? So why would you do one over the other? Well, if you're, if you're selling a put, you're gonna use a lot less capital. But like I said, one of the, one of the key reasons w why, where you would use a covered call is if you already own the stock, let's say you already own stock in XRT, well then you could come in and sell, these, sell the calls against it to add that theta component. component. You'd limit your upside, but you'd get that uh, positive theta decay, that positive time decay in your favor. And then as far as the time to take this off, kind of that 25 to 50%. So if it gets up in this range here where you've, where you've got about 25 to 50% of your max profit, your max profit in this case is $175. So once you reach 25 to 50%, take this off, redeploy that capital into another trade. The only caveat on that, going back to the example of already owning the stock, you know, let, let's say it's a stock that you um, that you want to own long term, and you're not looking to buy, and you're not looking to trade that stock. You're looking at it as a one, two, ten year investment kind of thing. But you want, but you like the idea of selling the calls against it to to bu give you a buffer to the downside as well as collect that theta. Well, you could simply just you know, wait until the, you know, if, if it gets to here, then you could get out of that call and you could sell another one. So you could hold the stock in place and continue just to sell these calls against that stock position every month to collect that theta. Hope that was helpful. We'll see you in the next lesson.